Well, welcome back and join us on the building of this kit of a Type B London, well, London County Council tram. The next thing we've got to do is cut out 9, 10, 11 and 12. Uh, as you can see, these these bits that we want have also got bits inside which we don't want basically what you've got you've got an outside an inside and an outside and a door the door slides up and down in that bit so the three pieces with the door in the middle you've got a working door uh, and there should be somewhere in the pile another one of these because you've got a door reach end so let's get on with cutting these out we'll do number 11 first because it's the easiest some of these sprigs are in large bits of wood so you can use a big knife some of them are in small bits of wood so I would change my knife to a smaller blade that should have gone right through that there we are that's 10 oh that's 11 sorry that's 11 stand that up there for the minute this wood is going through a lot easier than I expected or I've got some more strength in my hands smaller blade to go through these because if I try to get the big blade in it will cut back into um, some of the bits that I don't want cut into that's 10 You know, thinking how much I've done on this so far. We've only done the seats, and it's taken me over a week altogether with drying times. And so, God knows how long the, the tram complete is going to take. Oh, that's nine. All right, twelve. Take that out. There's um, in the kit. There's some. Um, I'll turn this over to cut this it's a lot easier there's some um, cellophane to go into the door right so that's 9 10 11 and 12 so we'll start with 12 and we'll cut out the window
blow to it from both sides. You can uh, make it easier by cutting both sides. Right. There's 12. This bit that's come out, we're going to need later. So put it in a secure place so you don't lose it. Again, this one, this here is, is two pieces. You've got 110 there and you've got 30 which is that frame there so I've numbered that on the outside but I don't think that would be readable very well but we'll try so if we cut this out there's only two sprigs holding this in we don't want to damage it of course 30 if I remember looking at the drawings is a, a picture frame so that can go in the box this one the, just the five bits inside are required this bit isn't used so we'll cut that out nine that bit goes in the box right ten this has got to come out If you find that the knife isn't cut and cleaned through, um, you can always change the blade and put a new blade in. Um, if you've got a modelling kit like I've brought a few years ago, um, let the um, 
There's plenty of new new blades in there. All right, that's that. So when this goes together, you've got eleven, ten, nine, and door. The door fits in there with that on top. So the door will slide. I've got one upside down. No, I haven't. Right, that goes there, and the door will slide. So, the first thing we've got to do is I've got to paint the door. Door's got to be painted. Um, let's have a look what it says. Burgundy. Um, I don't think I've got any burgundy actual, um, but um, we'll have to have a look. So join me later after I've painted the door and sanded all the tags down and um, stuck the, uh, the plastic in the door and got that all ready for assembly. Right, here we are back. We've cut out the the three end pieces and the door. They've been All the spigs have been sanded down and also the surface of um, that piece and the door have been sandy because they've got to be painted. Uh, that piece is goes into the interior of the tram, so that is the inside. Inside, and you've got the middle bit, and then the door, which fits in there, and then the top piece. These are all glued and clamped and the door will slide in the centre piece like that. That is the left hand one. The right hand one uh, has been undercoated. Um, one side of it has been stained and the other side painted not with the paint that they say because I couldn't get none um, exactly the same this is the colour on this is the uh, cadmium red from Windsor and Newton Galleria range <coughs> which is a just an acrylic paint the stain on the back is the um, stain that they provide in the in the kit kit of paints. So that is the door partly done. I'm going to have to. I've got the primer on the that. There's also a piece of plastic that's been cut to fit in there and to hold it in I've just put a little bit of um, super glue in the corner. The other piece, this has been sanded down and um, primed and the primer I'm using is an acrylic polyurethane surface primer uh, and this is from Valigio which is the company that make the paints that came in the kit this has to be painted two colours uh, cream on the bottom and the red on the top 
So what I've done, I've used a piece of masking tape. I've measured up. It has to be 227, rather, 27. So I've measured that with the with the vernier, um, marked it, and then put a piece of masking tape on there. Um, this will give me a straight edge when I paint the cream on there, uh, and then I can change it over. Do two or three coats on the cream, and change it over. Um, I did paint the insides of the um, door frames I don't know if it can be seen on that this here and there with what they said was the cream uh, it didn't come out very well so I've got um, also from the Galleria range, a uh, buff titanium, which, when you look at it, is nearer a cream colour than what the um, other paints are. So the next job is to paint this. This requires at least one more coat I should think of the red and then prepare the left hand side um, to exactly the same as this so I'll go and paint this and sort these out and I'll come back when this is all ready for sticking together all right I'm back. What I've done, I have prepared the four pieces that are for the end piece. I have painted the end one, as you can see. We've painted the door and varnished the other side. And these have been prepared sanded down the inside of the doors and windows have been painted with cream one of the things I looked up and did a bit of research was on how they used to paint these trams originally and they were basically they were painted and then varnished um, I did try the original varnish that I brought. Um, this is the Ravel varnish, but it didn't seem to give a good shine. So I found in my store um, a tin of Ronsil uh, clear varnish. Um, so I painted the seats, varnished the seats again. And as you can see, they are gleaming in the light. So the door and the end panel have also been varnished the same. So they look absolutely brilliant. The first thing we've got to do is fit a piece of glass into there or into this case perspex now they give you a measurement to cut this out to size but I cut it out and it is doesn't want to fit so what we're going to do is just keep trimming it Right, that fits that way. And we've got to cut a bit off the other side. 
I use these scissors because they hairdressing scissors actually and they actually cut the whole length and that's a little bit on the skew a little bit too thick one end I think that's gone crooked now. I want to see if this fits. Mm, still wants a little bit off. This is a fiddly job trying to get these to, to fit. Um, when we get to the rest of the tram, there's a lot of these to fit. Who wants a little bit off the bottom there? Right, that's fitted, but it, it was just bowing in a slightly. It's only a matter of taking a millimetre off with my eyesight I'm having a job to see um, but, uh, right. now that is in so what we have to do now is make sure it's in the door frame or window frame and then very very carefully but I'm find what I've done with it super go and you want to go in the door frame there just a dot of super glue in the corner and then put it up out the way to dry remembering that if you put it on anything the chances are the super glue will go through the um, gaps if there is any and uh, stick to something right while we're waiting that to dry I jumped the gun slightly and I've made the door frame for the other end this is the carriage door for the other end so this goes on there like that now looking at the drawing I notice that what it tells you to do after glue in the door together just glue it onto the onto the base and then build the side frames up and then put the hangers and everything else in then it tells you to put the stickers on which I think will be awkward to get in once you've got the side frames on and um, I also tell you back here on 21 to put the door handles and a sticker on um, on the doors 
So I want to jump the gun and as you can see I've got the door handles and the stickers on the inside and also a door handle on the outside. You must remember that when you paint this you're adding thickness to the door to slide in this gap. So what I've done on this one, this here where the door slides has been sanded. I made a mistake on this one and undercoated the wrong side. So this one has been sanded right down. Um, I've it, it adds something like 0 .5, 0 0.05 of a mil in paint thickness I think it was and um, I've had to sand that down to make the, let the door side so that's a, that's a thought drawings because they tell you to do things that um, will be awkward to do once the thing is together so that one goes there so we we'll wait for this to dry uh, and then we'll stick this together. Well, the window's now dry. Um, it seems that this super glue takes a long time to dry. Now the next thing we're going to do is to glue this all together to make this one unit. But we must make sure that we don't put any glue in this area on both of them. So what I did on the other one was if you put these together and then just draw around that one and the same there you will know that uh, not to put any glue in this that bit. Right, I've got four clamps which we come across up against in a minute to clamp all this together. So the first thing we have to do is put glue on the first, the bottom piece. Now I use a brush. You don't need a lot of this um, Copy Dex glue. Um, pull up to the edges. do accidentally get any glue where the door slides you're gonna have to uh, scrape it all off before it dries completely all right now this bit fits 
on right, get it the right way around there we have to get this window frame square because we've got a window to put in there in a while did the other one I left it for a, a couple of days to um, make sure it had uh, fully dried and cured Any glue that comes through the joint can always be um, cut off with a craft knife or sanded um, later. There's one more little bit to do up here. Before we go ahead and put the back on, make sure you remember to put the door in. Right. making sure that the window frames are square and now we just put four clamps one on each corner um, there's three of them can't find me fourth one so I've got a big one of those right don't try to move the door while you got the clamps on because the wood is um, holding it okay we'll have to uh, leave that now um, um, until it dries so when I come back to you um, I would have completed it by putting the um, the stickers on and the door handles as well. I have noticed just reading through these drawings um, that this diagram here tells you to put a door for a window frame and glass in all these 12 windows around the top of the carriage and then this one tells you to take these stickers put them together and fit in the window frame so they're talking at cross cross measures one minute they're saying one thing uh, and the next minute they're saying something else um, it's like on, I, I noticed that on this diagram it says paint it crimson but on this one it shows cream bottom and cream window frames but nowhere in the diagram does it tell you to paint it cream so there's there is an error in these diagrams
so that uh, you have to read the diagrams and go through it and, and make your own mind up which uh, in which order that you're you're doing the um kind of going to do it because you you'll find that uh, sometimes it's easier to do it in the different different order bye